Good morning. This is Monday, June 19th, 2023. Welcome to the Dojo Live recap show. My name is Kim Lantis and joining me as the, per the usual is co-host America Guerrero. Hey, America. Hey, happy Monday. Happy Monday. Oh, and sleepy I am. <laughs> so what do we do here on the recap show? We talk about our previous week's shows or in this case, show uh, as a way to kind of give you and share with you some of our takeaways, some of our highlights. And if you haven't caught it yet, uh, to entice you to go ahead and check it out, uh, dojo.live or our YouTube channel, of course, uh, and watch it for yourself. Uh, so last week, we actually only had one show, but it was a really, really great show. This was with Scott Weiner, who is the fractional CTO and transformation practice lead at Nuion. He talked all about proven techniques for creating high performance teams. So of some of those techniques that he talked about, um, Ame, what was your takeaway or what spoke to you most? Um, what if we start since the beginning? Take it I back. All right, roll yeah, it back. back. Yeah, I remember that at the beginning of the show, Scott highlighted the importance the importance of understanding organizational behavior and team dynamics in achieving high performances. And it, high performance meaning depends on each individual or in each team. And he also said that high performance is not just about having a great team, a strong team, as he said, but also requires a support of leadership and the organizational culture. And then we move to the techniques that he mentioned. There were like yeah. seven, right? Or eight. Well, I think he kind of rolled out around seven, eight, ten. I think there were meant to be a total of ten, but it, it's a lot. We did deep dive into a few, and so we didn't quite get to go uh, as far as we'd like. We're hoping for a take, a take two, round two, rather, uh, right. talking with Scott here on the show because it's definitely worth it. And I think America, you make a really good point. Um, what he and what Nuyan does is very boutique, right? It's it's not a one size fits all sort of approach. But throughout these years um, of, you know, consulting with a lot of different companies, there's a lot of commonalities. And, and, you know, the funny thing is we were talking about this idea of, you know, tech, technology, tech stack and things may be varying from team to team or company to company. But what's going to be a commonality across all of this is people, right? Human nature. And so we got a bit into the neuroscience of it all, um, how we as people tend to be. Um, and it's super, super, super interesting. I think... For me, one of the biggest takeaways in the neuroscience side, I think we even talked about dopamine and these hits, you know, that we get from uh, accomplishing and checking off our task lists. But it's not just about the task. It's about the value of that task. And a lot of this theme that kept coming up a lot was motivation, right? I think he did share a story with me that um, this idea of having a mission and a common mission and not just knowing what to do or how to do it, but this idea of why, right? Why we're doing it. And I think he was, he shared a story of talking with, I believe it was a data scientist or um, uh, perhaps a programmer who was a bit frustrated, right? And was on the verge of even quitting because all I do every day is just move information from one database to another database. But the truth is then Scott rolled it back with him, right? He's like, actually, but what you're doing by moving that data is allowing for I believe it was healthcare providers to provide better care to their patients and, you know, peeling back these layers. And it's like, ultimately we save lives. Right. Mm -hmm. and, um, and if we can get to the heart, that mission, the, the why, um, maybe we have to ask why a few times. Right. Yeah. Um, but that I think was really interesting. And then to have that why really be what's bringing a team together. I thought that was a really cool conversation. Yes. It's just not enough to say, this is our vision. These are, this is our mission. No, it's just, you need to leave it. You need to experience the reason why you are there to clear those goals. And also that led, that led up to the engagement and learning part. Once you have that vision clear, well, what can you do to improve? What can you do to highlight the importance of asking questions and encouraging team members to reflect on how their work contributes to the organization's purpose? Yeah, and I think that's a really great takeaway too. This idea of asking questions that you brought up was one of his takeaways as a leader. Um, people learn a lot, right? Just by answering questions and listening and letting people kind of do that processing and that thinking out loud um, was a really cool takeaway. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I just keep coming back to this idea of the mission. Um, he even quoted, it wasn't his quote, but he was telling this myth, whether it's true or not, right? A story of the moon launch back in the 50s, 60s. And they were talking to people throughout the building and they talked to the janitor, I believe. And he says, what are you doing? We're putting somebody on the moon, right? And this idea of once you're invested, once you're in, once that trust is built, right? We do our jobs with excellence. And you can probably guarantee that they were some pretty shiny floors, right? I think is, is mm -hmm. what, what Scott said for sure. Um, yeah. But it, yeah, we walked through a lot of things like mission, trust. Um, those are the ones Metrics. that are coming to I'm sorry? Metrics and measurement. Or are we talking about values? Good one. That's right. Um, and defining the right metrics, right? And again, I went back to answering the question of why and what's actually properly motivating people or of the opposite, demotivating them, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And, then, and I think ultimately we kind of came full circle to something that you touched on already and that's leadership, right? Ultimately this type of change, this type of high performance isn't going to happen unless leadership um, takes charge, right? And so that was um, really interesting. He also threw out a lot of really good book um suggestions. Uh, and right now I'm drawing a blank. I'm going to have to go through the, the transcript and pull those out. I think was, one of them had to do with metrics, t tyranny of metrics or something. Like I, that. I'm looking for my and, notes. But uh, it's yeah. everywhere. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, but it's, I even told him, I think post-show and my thank you, I was like, you know what, this was great. I'm going to have to actually watch it again, um, slower this time. So I can actually kind of take some notes and, and walk through this, right? So a lot of really great takeaways. So when you do watch Scott's show, be sure to have a notepad with you, make those notes. And, and um, that's another thing that we talked about, choosing just one, right? It can feel overwhelming when we're trying to make some improvements. So if we choose one and we work through that one thing and we start to see um, progress, right? That's also really, really useful. So yeah, definitely check out Scott's uh, show, his advice for everyone um, and for high performing teams as leaders, as team members, something that we can all learn from and take away. And of course, contact Nguyen if you'd like to have their consultation for you as well. <laughs> but what do we have this week? Um, this week, we actually have a single show as well. It seems like a really, really busy week for people out there. Um, yeah, we've got a show coming up and we're going to be talking with the CEO and founder of Travel X, and that is Sushil Shoudhury. We do not have a topic for you yet, but what I can tell you is that Travel X is a company that's bringing blockchain technology to airlines, and they created a term called NF tickets, right? Ooh. NFTs, tickets, NF tickets, right? What this does to increase ownership to customers and at the same time, improving revenue and operational automation for airlines. So if you're into travel, if you're into NFTs, it'll be an interesting conversation for sure. Check that out tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, June 20th at 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific, right here on Dojo Live. Um, and of course, don't forget to give us that like here, follow us, and um, yeah, catch up with what's going on in technology in a really fun conversational way. Um, until then, everyone, have a great week.